Hi friends, Renee here. This is episode 10 in our Volunteer Connection series. And if you haven't noticed yet, I am in a new space that you may have not seen yet. This is actually our new conference room and our distribution center. It's one of the first spaces we've got set up. Our team just did our first staff meeting in this space today. So things are moving on and it's getting very exciting. And all the new that we are talking about, we're just about two months out from and it's very real. So thanks for following along on this series because it's really important to us as a staff that you as our volunteers, our partners in launching this, feel like you have your minds and your hearts around that. We have more trainings coming that you're gonna be hearing about, but we just wanna give you an overview through these videos of what to expect under this new model. So I also wanna speak about the opportunity for those volunteers who are used to giving up your Wednesday mornings from eight to 11, that opportunity will still exist. We will have volunteers at our community store who will be getting the store ready for our open hours actually on Wednesdays. So we are now having hours on Wednesdays where we are serving the community that will be from two to six o'clock to help accommodate families who have kids in schools because Wednesdays are early release days. It'll let families get to the giving plate, allow their kids to come into Kids Corner store. It will also accommodate families who are working so they can come after work. But that Wednesday window will still be in place where volunteers will come and help organize our store, get things tidied up, get the shelves stocked, get produce ready, so that when we open it to that day, we're ready to roll. And so those people, if you are one of our Wednesday faithful volunteers, stick with us, your role won't be changing very much, just the location. And we will have teams also in the distribution center, similar hours, I know we haven't talked a lot about that yet, but those volunteering roles at our distribution center will be fewer. The more robust opportunities for volunteers will happen at our community store. So that is just another way to serve and volunteer is by helping keep us clean and orderly and organized so that the store experience is really empowering for the guests who come in, that they feel like they're coming into a beautiful, well-organized, clean space. We want our shelves to feel like a little market. We would like, uh, we're gonna work to have similar brands on the shelf so people aren't looking through 20 different brands of beans, but they have just a couple options. And so our team at the distribution center will be organizing food by type. So when we move food over to the store, our team that is organizing and stocking shelves can be doing that and just making sure we have a really beautiful presentation. If you're someone like me who likes organization and likes things to look nice, we would love you to consider this volunteering role because we really do want our store and our shelves to be empowering for the guests who come in. These opportunities to keep the shelves stocked will also exist during our open hours because we, as you know, if you've been volunteering with us for very long, move a lot of food through the giving plate. And so we can't just rely on the Wednesday team to get everything stocked on the shelves. There will be a continual need for volunteers and we're, it's kind of a dual role. You've heard us talk about shopping assistants. Shopping assistants will not just be assisting our guests with shopping, but they will also be assisting the store experience. So if our guests have questions while they shop, you'll be available to them. You'll also be there keeping the store shelves stocked and ready and full. So the shopping assistant role is a little diverse in that there's a lot of different opportunities during our open hours to not just help our guests do their shopping, but also support them as they're shopping or do their shopping for them or keep things organized. Thank you guys for following along and stay tuned on our next video. I'm going to be talking about Kids Corner Store. 